There's nothing like chilling with my girls Just me and my divas taking over the world Another hair review so and for this vendor this is the third time with them and this is Lily hair beauty I will tell you this much they do have the bombest hair out um, next to some other I like express vendors but their hair is really great quality hair so this go around I do have three bundles of 16 inches so they're all 16 inches it's the Peruvian straight and a 14 inch closure but yes they are really good I like express vendor their communication is like out of this world and I just really like them a lot so for the 16 inch bundles um, they're all individually wrapped I have done their kinky curly which I absolutely love that hair. Like I bleached it. I love it. And the curls are so tight and it's still like I love it. I love that hair. And also the Brazilian body wave. I think it was Brazilian. Um, just beautiful hair. The ends for their hair is always like really nice and thick. So if you see the ends, natural color, they don't dye it. It's not like mixed in with any synthetic hair. Their hair is all natural and just really good quality hair. In, in all in general so this is their ends which of course you can tell they were cut which is a good thing but really healthy looking hair and the bearding on this hair is like you know which is the small hairs you can see it but they're not bad at all they just have some really good hair this is double wefted so normally I do like um, four bundles when it comes to straight because straight hair is like not really so thick but this one being at a 16 inches the tracks are extra longer and the bundles are not as thin so you know what I mean I probably can get away with three 16 inch bundles now as for the closure it is a natural color and it is more or less like a brownish color light brown so the only downfall that I did notice is this tiny, tiny, tiny little piercing hole in it, which is a quick, easy fix. The knots in it are good, and the closure is kind of thick. When I say thick, like the hair isn't all thin. Because I've gotten closures that have been straight and have been really, like, thin. You know what I mean? Like the hair has been super thin. But this closure is actually good. So the only downfall, like I said, is this little tiny pierced hole in it that you probably, can you guys see? It's right here. But I can easily fix that, so I'm not really worried about it. But the closure looks really nice. Like, it's a different color. Like, sometimes when I get closures, they're so dark color, they look almost like they're black. This is like, like a natural, you can tell that this is like a natural, natural color because of the brown in it. And I see like a little split end in it, which is cool because we all have split ends. Um, but that was just at the baby's hair, the baby hairs. But the ends too. The ends are healthy and they're not all thin. You know the guys, the rules, the norm. What I do is I make the wig onto an actual dome cap like I have one right now. This is another unit that I made and take it from there. Stay tuned for that. Okay ladies, so I finished creating the unit by Lily Hair Beauty. And like I said, it's all straight, 16 inches, three full bundles of 16 inches and a 14 inch closure, which I did use the entire three bundles and the closure. This hair is like super thick. Normally for a straight wig, just for me to flat iron it, it'll take like, I would say like 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. This took me like 45 minutes. This is a lot of oh, hair. Normally this time around, I didn't add cones because again, I ran out. So now that they've come in, I'll go ahead and, you know, sew them in because I love combs in my unit. But the first thing I noticed once I washed it and parted the hair that the closure has kind of like bleached roots which is great bleach knots um, it does fade into like a lighter color the color is really pretty because it's more of a natural color and the hair it did shed a little bit I seem to think like straight hair always sends tends to shed a little bit more than like other um, textures like curly what have you but it just shed a little bit and nothing under the norm so the ends are healthy the hair isn't dried out and Lily's hair beauty always has some gray hair so the first thing that I'm going to do is put some concealer on the inner portion as well as the outer and then I'm going to style it I'm going to use one of my favorite products which is topic Car keratin hair filler virus which is a must especially if you want um, your edges to look a lot thicker so let's begin Till I 
get up, time is barely on our side. I don't want to waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us, and love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah, no, I don't want to waste what's left. And I Okay, so here, finished look, super easy. Of course, it's shorter because it's 16 inches. I don't really do short lengths like this, and it's not really short, but for me, it is. However, it is a very, very classic, meaning you can wear it to work, you can wear it out. It's just a basic wig. You can always style it opposed to how you want to style, especially with straight hair. So the hair is super soft, really easy to sew on. It was super easy to wash. I co-washed it after I created it. I really think it's important to make sure that you wash any hair bundles, hair wefting tracks, extensions when you get them. If you're going to create a wig, you can always wash it after you've cr finished creating it is what I do. Or if you're going to get it installed in your head, the very first thing you should do is wash it before it gets installed. Um, I wouldn't want to wear hair that hasn't been washed um, just because you really don't know if there's bugs or dirt, debris, anything like that. So it also changes the luster and the texture of the hair too once you wash it. So that's why another reason why I make sure to wash all of my units before I wear them because you can see the difference in the curl pattern as well as the luster in the hair. And you'll see how the hair reacts to certain conditioners as well as heat. So for this one, Lily Hair Beauty, this is a winner. This is the third unit that I've created with them. and. So far, so good. They do have another sister site, which I will be introducing in a video in the very near future. But if you're looking for some really great hair from Ally Express, I really highly suggest them. All of their hair textures and origins are really bomb ass, and they're very affordable as well. So you can check out their Instagram page as well as their um, Ally Express page. And yes, that's a basically about it. So on that note, if you're interested in getting a unit made or already want one that's pre-made in stock, you can always check out my website at goingwiththewindwigs.webly.com. And as well as that, as I hope you guys have a great new year and stay safe. And all the information for Lily Hair Beauty will be posted for you girls below. And stay diva and delicious. And I'll check you out on my next video.